Hey guys, uh, it's Acidify. I'm a 2D environment concept artist, and a lot of my work focus on trees, so I thought I'd make a simple tutorial for artists getting into digital art. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily draw a realistic tree environment from scratch using Photoshop. But I'm sure you can still learn and follow my steps with other software as well. Alright, so the first step is to create a new layer in Photoshop. Now roughly sketch the shape of a tree on your canvas. This process doesn't have to be precise. Uh, you can just make it rough and simple because we'll start adding the details uh, later on. And try to ignore the leaves for now. Uh, just focus on the trunk and branches. For this tutorial, I'll be drawing a curvy bonsai looking tree uh, just to give you an idea of a tree from different perspectives. So once you're done sketching your tree, you need to select the lasso tool and start tracing over your sketch. Create a new layer underneath your sketch and start tracing with the lasso tool. So if you have a branch that's behind the main tree such as the one over here, Separate it in different layers so that it will be easier for you to work on it later on in the process. So once you're done tracing, select the paint bucket tool and fill it in with the darkest color of your tree. So if you want your tree to look brown, fill it in with dark brown or perhaps black. Now create a new layer underneath your tree and with the lasso tool, trace any branches that are behind your main tree, uh, such as the one over here. And once again, uh, with the paint bucket tool, uh, fill it in with a dark color. And now you should have a silhouette of a tree. If you want to make drastic changes to the shape of your tree, uh, now is the time. Once you're satisfied, create a new layer underneath your tree, and with the lasso tool, trace the outline of a ground. Once again, Use a dark color, such as dark green, to fill it in. Now your painting should look something like this. You should have three layers. The first being the main tree, the second being the branches behind the main tree, and the third being the ground. Now we're going to start adding some colors to the tree. Um, select the brush that you're most comfortable with. Uh, I prefer using a hard brush to paint the main highlights first and then use a softer brush to gradually blend those colors. Also try using a brush that has the ability to rotate uh, with the motion of your pen. Now before painting, uh, don't forget to lock the layer of your tree so that you don't accidentally paint outside of the frame. Uh, you can do this by simply selecting this tool in Photoshop. Now start painting the dominant colors of your tree where you believe the light source will be hitting the most. This will basically help you guide your way by making your tree look 3D. Use your imagination and be creative. This process doesn't have to be precise. Feel free to use more than two colors. Try using like brown or yellow to give that 3D effect. Now simply repeat this process for each layer. And here I am, uh, just adding a little adjustment to the shape of the tree. So once you're done, select a softer brush and start blending in those colors that you just painted. Hover your brush to the highlights, press the Alt key to enable the color picker, and navigate your way by blending in those colors. Uh, just don't forget to have your layers locked so you don't paint outside of the frame.
Alright, so once you're done with the tree, uh, we'll need to paint the ground. You can either color pick from the tree, or simply use a color of your choice. I prefer using yellow or green for vegetations. So once you've roughly blended the colors, uh, you can now merge the three layers into one. To do this, uh, select the tree layer, hold shift, and right click the ground layer. This should bring a drop down menu. Now select merge layers. Once you've merged the layers, uh, you can now blend the tree with the ground. Just keep color picking and gradually paint the area underneath the tree. Feel free to add more highlights to make your painting stand out. And just use a brighter and vibrant color to give it a stronger contrast. Um, use a smaller brush to add more details to the vegetations. The key is to color pick and polish the area with a smaller brush. Once you get to this point, uh, it's all about adding small details. So yeah, just keep making your way up from the roots to the branches and try to make everything look perfect. Uh, notice how I'm adding more twigs to the branches. Uh, this helps add more volume to the painting. So once you're happy with the blending, uh, we're going to add leaves to the branches. Create a new layer on top of the tree layer and name it leaves. Once again, uh, with the lasso tool, sketch a cluster of leaves on top of the branches. Just like this. And with the paint bucket tool, uh, fill in the area with a dark color such as dark green. Now repeat this process to any areas you want to add leaves to. Alright, so once you're done, uh, start painting the highlights again by using a harder brush and a brighter color, such as light green. And try to get that 3D illusion again and always think of where the light source is coming from. Now use a smaller brush and start blending in the colors. The key is to use the color picker to soften out the edges. If you have a custom brush for plants, uh, now's the time to use it. I decided to remove this branch because I thought it was too crowded. Always think of the composition while working on your painting. Just keep adding more details to the leaves with light and darker values. Since I thought the area in the middle was a little empty, uh, I decided to add another branch sticking out.
feel free to add more branches to fill out your composition. Uh, what I like about digital art uh, is that you can easily go back even if you make a mistake. It's all about experimenting. Uh, don't be afraid to make changes. So once you're satisfied with your tree, uh, we can work on the background. Create a new layer underneath your tree uh, so that we can start painting the sky. Now with a soft brush, uh, paint a desaturated gradient of the sky. Think of the contrast of the painting and try to balance out the colors. I'm using pale and light brown for the gradient of the sky uh, as the colors for my painting is brown in general. By adding darker colors to the background, you can also paint mountains and rocks to give your painting more depth. The mountains closer to the tree should have sharper edges, while the mountains in the distance uh, should have softer edges. The mountains closer to the foreground should also have a darker contrast than the mountains in the distance. Now keep blending the mountains until you get a good depth to your background. You can also paint birds in the sky to fill out your background and give more life. With a hard brush, uh, you can simply paint a V-shape in the sky to reference birds, uh, just like this. Or simply use a custom bird brush to save some time. Feel free to keep adding details to your painting if you feel like it's necessary. Once you're done with the background, we need to enhance the light source to polish the artwork. Create a new layer on top of the tree layer. Select a round brush, uh, just like this one, and change the blending option to color dodge. Now with a warm dark color, such as red or orange, gently paint over the areas where the light source is hitting the most. Make the size of your brush smaller when painting over the tree. Now we gotta repeat this process and enhance the light for the background environment. Once again, uh, create a new layer, but this time above the background layer. Now change the blending option to color dodge and start painting over the background. Try messing around with the colors uh, and the size of the brush. So at this point, I realized that the background was too bright. So I created a new layer, masked it with the background layer, and decrease this brightness. Now I was pretty much satisfied with the artwork. Uh, I could have stopped the tutorial here, but I really wanted to add more details to this artwork. So I created a new layer and polished my way through the painting. Uh, the more details you add, the more realistic your painting becomes. It just looks better to your eyes with more details. So yeah, uh, if your painting looks somewhat dull, uh, try adding small details such as twigs, roots, 
and textures to your tree. This step is optional, but if you want to make your painting look more realistic, you can always mask and blend real life photos into your painting. Just drag a photo of your choice, and position and place it on top of the layer you want to mask with. Change the blending mode to soft light, and use the eraser tool to soften out the edges. Finally, you can lower the opacity of the photo to fit in with your painting. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you out. If this video was helpful, uh, please give it a like and support my channel. I'll try to create more tutorials like this in the future, so if you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching till the end. And let's keep on drawing.